So we got Bill Sanderson, who is, I guess, the founder of the BigMuscle.com. Big my, my partner, Andy, and I. How long has BigMuscle.com been around for? Probably about 14 years. And there's so many different other dot-coms out there, hookup sites. What's the difference between BigMuscle.com and other websites? Why should I become a member today? Well, we try to be a community to everybody. Um, and we never tried to set out to be a hookup site. We know what happens. But, you know, we try to give a little flavor of us in the site that it's more uh, friendly. We try not to make it so you can hook up right that second. But it's more, we want people to interact more. You know, learn a little bit more about the other guy before, you know, just jump in. I know there are other things to, on your phone to do that with, but we've always wanted to be a little, a little bit more, you know, friendly. So, so we're here for Folsom. Do you enjoy Folsom Weekend? Oh, I do immensely. I, I just, I just like the people. I mean, they go the gamut from, you know, full on leather to no leather and naked guys, you know? You can't not love it. <laughs> so if you know Folsom, you know that the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence are the first people you see when you enter the door of Folsom as they take your money, they take half of it to put it to a charity, half they put it to their lunch, I think, that's what it was. But we have, yes, yeah, so you have to feed the big girls. But we have two sisters who are gonna be talking to us today. What's your name, sister? I'm Sister Agnes Day after tomorrow. Oh Lord, and what's your sister name? I'm novice sister Nancy Drew Blood. Oh, Lord. The names they come up with. Uh, sisters, uh, it is the 30th annual Folsom Street Fair, which is crazy. How many years have you been coming to Folsom now? This is my third year. Your third year? Fifth. It's my first time ever at Folsom Street Fair. So, I'm a virgin. So, can you tell me what I should do when I'm in the Folsom Street Fair? Well, to be safe, you should bring some water and bring sunscreen, and after that, do whatever you like. What's the dirtiest thing you've ever worn to Folsom? Dirtiest thing? I don't even know. I wash everything before I wear it. The skimpiest, the nastiest, the piggiest. A jock strap and a tutu. A cock ring and a mesh dress. Well, you just overdressed for that event, didn't you? Honey, it'll be tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so with the guys for the BigMuscle.com party, we have the ladies. So I think the ladies, I'm hoping the ladies will be dirtier than the guys are. Can you do that? <laughs> we'll okay. do our best. What's your first name? My first name is Katie. Where are you from? San Francisco. San Francisco. What's your name? Renee. Renee, where are you from? San Francisco. <laughs> if you could be anywhere else in the world right now, where would you be? San, San Francisco. Francisco. Love that answer. I love it. I love it. Okay. Uh, how many years have you been coming to Folsom Street Fair? Oh, maybe eight or nine. Yeah, at least. <laughs> eight or nine years. Yeah, we met at Folsom. Did you really? Yeah. Oh, nice. Leaning against a telephone pole. Doing what? Peeing against it or what? No, I was just, just I was watching. Just look, looking just good. Watching Wait, the go by. a telephone pole? What's that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> really? You know, one of those, one of those these. big, thick uh, things that's like really tall. God, I haven't <laughs> seen those in a while. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So Folsom Street Fair, the annual 30th. 30th annual Folsom Street Fair, 30 years of nudity and dirtiness and bringing the family closer together. Why do you keep coming year after year? Well, because it's naughty and dirty and it brings everybody closer together. What's not to like? Yeah, what's not? And you see great things and great people and just all kinds Get of sexy ideas. hot things. We got Chris right here. How you doing, Chris? I'm doing well. What brings you out to the BigMuscle.com party today? Big Muscle, of course. And it's all inside there. What's your fetish? Uh, my fetish is probably gear wear. What kind of gear? Be more, you know. Football, soccer, anything where you got a black jock strap thrown through white shorts is a good thing. I can't show it on camera, but do you like my jock strap? There you go, not bad. So, yeah, you can't see through it. No, there you go. You'll, I'll show you a little bit later. Sounds good. Can there I ask you, you three quick questions? You can. If they're yes or no, <laughs> sex in a porta potty on Folsom? No. Sex in the street on Folsom? Yes. Hooking up with a random guy for sex you never saw him ever again in Folsom weekend? That's a no brainer. James, James, where are you from, James? I actually live in San Francisco. God, another uh, local. Are you originally from San Francisco? I'm, I'm actually a rare native. I was born in the in the East Bay in Livermore. So how many years have you been coming to San Francisco from now? What's that? How many years have you been coming to Folsom now? Oh, God, I guess this is about my ninth year. Ninth year. Yeah. What's like, why do you keep coming back year after year to Folsom? Um... God, why do I keep coming back year after year? I mean, I, I have a lot of friends that come into town every year, and it's it's always really good to see them. Like this guy right here. This guy right here. Stalkers, huh? Well, you know. Um, and, uh, yeah, I guess Folsom's a lot of fun as sort of a spectator sport. Um, you know, just to kind of... I, I'm always fascinated from a from sort of an anthropological perspective how people develop their uh, their fetishes and then just go to town in, in the middle of the street. 
Can someone Google what that word is? I don't know what that word is, but yeah, we'll, we'll come back to that. What's the craziest thing you've seen when you've been at Folsom? <sighs> What's the craziest thing I've seen at Folsom? I mean, there's a lot of crazy things that happen. Um, I mean, some of my some of my favorites are just the dude that sits on the sidewalk naked spread eagle with a cowboy hat and cowboy boots. Um, it's like Christmas. You have to see that every year to get that event. You know? <laughs> I know. That's how. It's kind of how I know Folsom's actually happening. Um, you know, there's always. Uh, it's either Folsom or Dory where there is a woman riding a carriage that's being drawn by several men who um, have chains connected them to them through through piercings, and that's kind of disgusting. That's one word for it. All right, so we have another sister of Perpetual Indulgence here. What's your name, sister? My name is Sister Picoletta from the Reuniting Bodies of Berlin, Germany. And where do you live now? At the moment, I stay with Sister Pat and Leather in the mission. <laughs> I love these names. All right, so sister, it's the 30th annual Folsom Street Fair. What is, why do you keep coming back year after year? I've not been here for the last eight years, but I mean, the sisters have been involved into the Folsom Street Fair since its very beginning, and we just keep up to this tradition. We got, uh, well, what are you guys? I don't know, I'm lost for words. Well, someone just told us that we are fucking all the time tribe. Okay, I, I'll go with that. So, uh, what is, who made your costume, or who killed your costume? It's actually my dear husband, Matt. He did all the work. I gave him the idea, and then I slaved him for months to make the costume. Wait, are you guys a couple? Yeah. Yes. Can you make out right in front of me? I can't resist what. Now, if that's not Folsom True Love, I don't know what is. That's 18 years ago. That's 18 years? I wasn't even alive 18 years ago. It's amazing. All right, uh, so guys, what's your favorite part of Folsom Street Fair? Oh, oh, we love the guys. The guys, the assless chaps, they're great. <laughs> and what's your favorite part of Folsom Street Fair? I love the ladies. You like the ladies? <laughs> what's wrong with you? No. Hey, so being together for 18 years, what's the secret to your success? Oh, uh, roll with the punches. Love them. Love them all the time. And may I present our first female we are... <laughs> Uh, interviewing today, Deborah. How are you, Deborah? I'm fabulous. Now, Deborah, I heard you are not more than just a pretty face. You are a columnist. I am a columnist for Leather Roddy. I write a blog for them, and I do most of the follow-ups for the contests and things like that. The leather contests. Wait, wait, wait. Now, for people who do not know on the webosphere, what is Leather Roddy? Leather Roddy is an online magazine that serves the leather community. And what's the website? It is leatherati.com. Leatherati.com. And are you on Twitter? I am not on Twitter. I'm too old for that stuff. Cut the interview. No. <laughs> what keeps you coming back year after year to Folsom? Folsom is fabulous. Folsom is the really the community that serves everyone. So gay, straight, queer, whatever. It's open to everybody and you get to meet everybody and see everybody in all their gear. What's the greatest thing you've seen this year so far? The really the best thing was the pony parade that came by. So all the animals um, and the two-legged ponies came by and they were fabulous with carts. It was like a free Cirque du Soleil. Exactly, it was. And uh, Deborah, why do you keep coming back year after year? I mean, why do what drives you besides, you know, seeing people who are just reunited, what drives you in particular? My heart is with the leather community. It's part of who I am. Um, it is also about integrity and honesty, and it's about sex, and it's about uh, play, and being open about who you are and be uh, to sexual, all people of different sexual orientations. And now, now, if people are out there and wondering if they should come to Folsom, why should they come? What's the most important reason to come? The most important reason to come is just to come and celebrate being a person who is and understands BDSM and loves fetish and loves sex. If you love sex, this is the place to be. Why not get my boots shined while we are here? This is Real Gay TV. We Will is my uh, black booter? Boop? Boot black. Boot black. Will, how did you even get experience in this kind of stuff? A friend of mine got me into it. He's my mentor. And I've been doing it for about 10 years now. What makes a good boot black? Knowing what you're doing, taking care of the leather properly. So why do you come back year after year doing this, uh, this booth at Folsom Street Fair? This is for charity. 
I like raising money for the community. The community needs it. And I like here, you know, helping him out. This is for Project Open Hand. Now, uh, what's the craziest thing you've seen today for Folsom Street Fair? <laughs> oh, Lord, the cartoon character costumes. There is the puppy and the fur, but there are these cartoon character type costumes running around. It's, oh, no. It's like Great America meets Folsom. It's like, not a good combo. All right, guys, we are in probably the most popular booth of the day, the Next Door Studios booth. We got Johnny Tork. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good, how are you, James Huntsman? Doing great. And we got Mr. Samuel O'Toole. How are you doing? Doing great. Now, uh, you guys have become a fixture of uh, the Folsom Street Fair. Uh, as of last year, it was your first time here as a booth. Are you guys having a good time this year? Having a great time. What's the craziest thing you've son seen so far? Uh, I think I saw a guy that had a cock ring like through the tip of his dick, and then he had a string attached to his shoe. So he stepped <laughs> it, he pulled on his dick. It was the, cra it was the craziest thing I've seen ever. Yeah. <laughs> and, and that was actually your fellow model, Donnie Wright, right? <laughs> I don't know. I can't say it for sure. It was, it was Tucker Scott, actually. Tucker Scott. So, uh, wh why do you like doing this event? Well, I like to like meet with my fans and like basically just promote our product because at the end of the day, like we want you guys to see and we appreciate it. So it's our time to give back and like take pictures and stuff like that. So I, I like doing them. I like getting out. <laughs> so, have you met any crazy fans this year, Mr. Samuel O'Toole? Um, I wouldn't go quite so far as to say crazy, but definitely very interesting. They're crazy. Uh, maybe a little bit, aren't we all? So, uh, can we pretend like we're at Cocktail of the Stars? For, you guys have all done my show, so can we do a really quick roundup of Cocktail of the Stars? Who is more likely to be a bottom in a group scene? Raise your hand. Who would be the more likely to be a bottom in a group scene? Johnny Tork! Right here, right here, Johnny <laughs> Which one? Uh, I don't know. You? If I, maybe if I, like, self-fuck myself, but, you know. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's a good answer right there. Yeah, yeah. But I am also the only one out of the three that could do it, so. You're the real man. Who has, who has the biggest ego out of all three of you? Who has like the biggest porn star ego? Oh man, um, I don't know. Mel may have the website. I, I think I just website. proved that case right there. And uh, who has the most followers on Twitter? I don't know. Not me. How many do you have? I don't know. Last time I checked, it was like fifteen thousand. Yeah. I only have like ten point five. He is. Who has the biggest dick out of all three of you guys? No, that's not even fair. Ah, uh, what? I was paying attention for that. Which is the sluttiest porn star? The sluttiest porn star. Oh, come on. <laughs> and which is which porn star is more likely to be doing porn stars in ten years? Who's more likely to do porn in ten years from today? <laughs> I'm staying out of the all, all the way, all the way. Now, uh, when did you first get adapted by uh, Next Door Mail? When did they hire you to be one of their exclusives? Um, like a year and a half to two years ago. Yeah. And how many movies have you done? Scenes, I should say, scenes. Oh Over a hundred. You slept with a hundred guys. Yeah. I guess. And how many women? Probably zero, right? Uh, like, oh, for in in like porn? In the whole Next Door. Like yeah. five.